Shipping drives global trade. Island nations and developing countries are dependent on the maritime sector and are also most at risk from climate change. Global efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from shipping rely heavily on improvements in energy efficiency and increased uptake of low-carbon technologies. But how do we ensure these efforts are shared across the world? The International Maritime Organization came up with the idea of creating a network of maritime technology centers to facilitate technology uptake, build capacity, carry out pilot projects and share their results. Thanks to a 10 million euro funding contribution from the European Union, the Global MTCC Network or GMN project was born, establishing five regional maritime technology cooperation centers or MTCCs. Five years on, these MTCCs have had significant impact and between them count hundreds of activities supporting developing regions in their move towards maritime decarbonization. These success stories are shining examples of how global projects through regional centers can help individual country sports and shipping sectors improve energy efficiency and drive forward the changes needed to decarbonize shipping. But let's hear from those who benefited the most from all these initiatives. In Africa, energy audits provided a baseline study on port pollution levels for the port of Mombasa and other ports in the region. Partnership between uh, MTCC Africa and uh, Kenya Ports Authority has resulted in a lot of saving in terms of uh, GHG gases and uh, energy consumption. The project has been quite uh, instrumental, especially in capacity building for the staff of various organizations, not only in Kenya but also in the focal points countries. Another key initiative was to assess the level of greenhouse gas emissions from ships servicing African routes through a voluntary data collection and reporting mechanism. An energy efficiency operational index assessment was carried out for participating vessels. This paved the way for a more rapid and reliable way of reporting fuel consumption data in Africa. Over in Asia, a major pilot project looked at the uptake of energy-efficient technologies, more specifically using artificial intelligence for ship trim optimization. Ship trim optimization reduces resistance, and less resistance implies fewer emissions and more economical operation by fuel savings. In China, a total of 63,569 datasets were successfully collected from 15 ships, showing that considerable fuel savings could be made. And new guidance on ship trim has been provided to thousands of vessels. Training has been crucial to ensure administrators and all in the maritime sector understand the issues at hand. With the support from IMO, MTCC Asia has delivered lots of capacity building activities. Pacific island countries and territories are among the most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. And for maritime nations of the Pacific region, the sea is central to their people, who depend on the sea for commerce, trade and mobility. The GMN project is making a difference in this part of the world innovative, environmentally sustainable solutions that benefit the people in the region was at the core of the Solar Power Pilot Project. I think about a year ago, LC TV Trader, a local ship pioneered this project with the installation of a marine solar system on board. Within three months of installation of solar panels on domestic vessels, greenhouse gas emissions were reduced by 87% at port or anchorage, with an overall greenhouse gas emission reduction of 58%, taking the voyage into account. Also, we have a solar panel now on low power arms, electricity low ship. Also, we help people to
Progress was also made in the Caribbean. The MTCC map the existing energy efficiency technologies and best practices that are used on board vessels trading in the Caribbean region. The MTCC collected data on the main forms of energy consumption and emissions abatement measures used on board. A number of baselines have been established, for example, the type of fuel consumed by vessels within the region, or existing energy efficiency technology on board ships trading in the Caribbean. Thanks to MTCC Caribbean, we were able to do some capacity building for climate mitigation. Now we are fully aware that MTCC Caribbean will play a much bigger role in the Caribbean. In Latin America, the MTCC performed detailed analysis of fuel oil consumption data from 68 vessels and worked with six countries to better understand the barriers and constraints experienced by relevant stakeholders. After five years, the GMN project has established maritime centers with strong regional networks and technical expertise in the field of maritime energy efficiency. These MTCCs are fast becoming important players in the decarbonization journey. They are now perfectly positioned to play a key role supporting developing countries and helping to ensure no one is left behind in the green maritime transition.